Agent Woodstock is back in Church Point, and while this year would have marked 20 years of fundraising for childhood cancer through the event, the pandemic had other plans. As Taylor Tool reports, the two-year hiatus isn't slowing them down. Music, food, auction, and fun for the family, all for a good cause. This is Woodstock, it's a family, and uh, we all have healthy children, so we want to give them all a chance to be healthy. Steve Carrier founded Cajun Woodstock in 2003 with the goal of supporting St. Jude and its patients. Something that a lot of people don't realize, there's over 3,000 kids from Louisiana that passes through that place a month. Whether it's a two-year protocol, treatment, just a checkup. While the pandemic put a damper on their fundraising and fundraising the last two years, he says they're more than making up for it this weekend. It should be our 20th year, but it's 18 years we've been doing it, and we're at $650,000. So over that, by this weekend, we should be over the three-quarter of a million dollar mark. And for St. Jude families like Emma Grace's, 100% of the money going back to St. Jude makes all the difference. Blow kiss! Say love you, say thank you. We spent 16 months at St. Jude in Memphis. Emma was diagnosed at 12 months with stage four high risk neuroblastoma. And if it wasn't for St. Jude and events like this and people that put on events like this, then I think we'd be in a very different situation. She is gonna be three in May and is currently NED, which is no evidence detected. Adrian Brasso spent his weekend at the event in Church Point, but for him, it's personal. I myself am a uh, cancer patient, so, and I, I've seen what these kids go through at MD Anderson, but St. Jude is doing the same thing, so I come give my money, spend my money, help where it's needed. But if you missed it this time around, don't sweat it. The event will be back next year on April 1st and 2nd. In Church Point, Taylor Toole, KATC TV3.